Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today I have for you, as you've seen by the thumbnail of this video, the Eternatus V Max box, maybe? Don't have me lie. Yes, Eternatus V Max premium collection box. Um, the purpose of the bag was to let you all know at the beginning of the video that GameStop, at least here where I stay, so I'm assuming all GameStops, are doing their bag deals where you buy the bag and whatever you put in the bag is supposed to be 20% off. So that's what I did today um, because when I went on Friday, no, sorry, today's Monday night. So when I went Saturday, um, the guys there told me that they were starting their bag deal on Sunday. So I went today before I went to my friend's house for her birthday and I picked this up and I also picked up two packs of Rebel Clash because I've only opened like I think legit I've really only opened the um, ETB box I think of Rebel Clash so my Rebel Clash collection is very small and I know I'm not the only one so um, but yes yeah, so I got this bag I got this one because they only had that one they had a Pikachu and score bunny one but I don't like how the material on that bag feels which of course that would be my first choice obviously but I hate how the bag feels, how the material feels. And I have like two of the Corgi eating ramen bags. So I didn't want a third one. So anyway, enough of my rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and start opening this. I have no sleeves, you guys, sitting right here. So I'm gonna be very careful today because I don't wanna stop the video to go and get the sleeves. Cause to be honest with you, I honestly don't know where they are. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Oh my gosh. So. If you want to read that, you can because I'm still trying to get it open. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this box is running right now. Um, normally it's 40 bucks. Yeah, it's $39.99 normally. And I got 20% off of it, which I can't even tell you how much that really was. I think it'd be like 30 something for it. So yeah. Oop. So, I am going to take these out however I can today. So, here is the first Eternity's V. And I really love this card. Like, I really just want the box for the promos, honestly. Really? More so for this promo because it is so freaking pretty. I love the colors on this card. And then, I'm going to set that over there. And then we also have the other, whoops, the other Eternatus VMAX card, which is also nice. Um, Eternatus does have very pretty colors, but I really love the alternate art on the other one. Um, I don't know, it's just something about those particular colors in that one. Okay, so I'm going to just, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go pop out this gigantic coin here that we have of Eternatus. Um, does it go this way? Maybe? But yeah, so this coin is actually way bigger than your normal coin. It's huge, actually. And I don't have a coin with me to show you the difference. But if you know, you know that coin is huge. Um, and then you have the pin. Which I actually, um, one of the guys at GameStop actually collects just like I do. Actually collects a little more than I do, but he has, um, he collects um, Magic the Gathering. So, yeah. But he has a actual pin, like situation, like a board, a cloth kind of thing that he does. And he just puts all the pins on there. And I thought it was really cool. He showed it to me the other day. And I was like, I need something like that. <laughs> Um, so here is the Eternus V Max Jumbo card. Um, I really just keep all these in a pile. Um, I think what I'm going to do, or what I want to do, honestly, with them, is to eventually put them in like sleeve protectors because I think that that's something that I want to do just to keep them somewhere and protect it. And there is the coat card to, I guess, assume unlock one of those cards over there. 
Um, but yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't want to buy the mini binder that they actually made for the V Maxes because I have others that I've had collected, of course, beforehand before they started with the V's and V Max cards. So, um, in the box, we have Darkness Ablaze, Sword and Shield, Evolutions, another Darkness Ablaze, Rebel Clash, and a Burning Shadows. So, I'm gonna order them. Order them. I'm gonna put them in the order as they had released, and then also I'm going to open. Wait, the extra two Rebel Clashes that I had picked up. So I'm just gonna set these to the side over here. Um, so all together, I think for the box and the two extra Rebel Clashes, I picked the or picked them up for I think forty-seven maybe dollars. So it wasn't bad, I guess. Not really. <laughs> um. And I think the promo took or the discount took off 80% per pack, 80 cent per pack, sorry, um, for just the single packs. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, we have the Rattata Reverse Hollow and we have a Dugon, which honestly is expected. If it's not a Dugon or in um, Eradicate, shop. <laughs> so. No, I feel like I'm bending the cards and it's really going to make me mad if I bend the cards. And I don't know how to pull them apart. I see people do that and I have no clue how to do such things. Okay, I'm going to try to do it upside down now because at this point, it's not working for me. There we go. Okay, got it open. So there's the code card for Burning Shadows, which is four to the front. Have a Leaf Energy, La Lana, Tormenting Spray, Charmeleon, Ralts, Crabrawler, Sneasel, Vinipede, Horsey, Reverse Hollow Turtinator, which is a rare. And then we have a non holographic Weavile. Okay. So, what else? Sword and Shield. Um, I actually have a good collection of Sword and Shield, not gonna lie to you guys, but my Rebel Clash. I was looking at it when I was doing some, um, what was I doing? I was putting things in order and putting all my book together and everything because I told you guys I was doing that in the last video, which wasn't lying because I think I've counted thus far um, 2,088 cards of bulk that I had just lying around my house that I could actually look at. Everything else, all the other bulk, well, a lot of the bulk were in actual elite chainer boxes with the other cards because I hadn't like put them in order and went through them to see what all I had and what I didn't so I've really been working on it and I'm almost done with the bulk which is really good um so I did say in the last video for you all to let me know what you not elite chainer box but what booster box you all would like to see on the channel um my thought process right now honestly is team up or unbroken bonds is what I'm thinking not going to lie to you. That's what I'm thinking about getting. <laughs> so comment down below if you have a request or if you just agree that Team Up or, Burnish or Unbroken Bonds is a good one. Um, we have a Reverse Hollow Copper Raja and a Cramorant. And this is also a rare. So that's cool. So I have two rares, but all green cards or green codes so far. Hopefully in these lives, well, I have five packs left now. So hopefully we get something, honestly. This is Rebel Clash. I think I need stuff in. I need a lot of stuff in Rebel Clash. I can't even tell you if I even have any type of, um, wait, let me see. Yeah, I don't think I have any kind of um, good cards in here. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> I really don't think I do. Um, Natu, Honage, Impidimp, Magmar, Reverse Hollow Wingle, and... Okay, we have a gold twin energy. I'm uh, very shocked, honestly, because I have very bad pulls out of boxes, except my last video, of course, which I will put in the eye for y'all to check out. Um, but wow, this is my first good card out of Rebel Clash. That looks amazing, amazing. 
just look at that shimmer you guys i'm excited now i'm gonna sit that down also oh, gently right there because maybe i should bring it down here so you guys can see it put that up okay so that i feel like just saved my opening because i was like going nowhere honestly i thought i was gonna get honestly all green packs so whoever claims that code let me know what came in what you got on the um the tcd online so let me know please because i would really like to know if you get that card or would you get just a good card how does that work honestly i think it's just a good card but i never really paid attention when i tried to play the game online not even gonna lie to you guys i didn't <laughs> I have a reverse hollow Dedene and oh my gosh, we have the gold colossal card. Wow, two gold cards in a row. I have never had this much luck. Look at the glitter, shimmer, shine, whatever it is, you guys, that you can see at the bottom. Look, boom. Yes, okay. See, so I did say in the last video I was going to have to buy another Zamazenta box because that Zamazenta box, that was my life right there. That that gave me just oh so much luck right there. And now I just put two gold cards in a row. Who does that in the box? Who have you seen do that? Please, somebody tell me because I haven't seen it. And if you've seen it, please tell me who so I can go watch that video because I want to see that and I want to see their reaction if it was just like mine. Because wow, I'm, I'm excited now. I'm great. And then on top of that, I didn't have to choose a box because that's the only Eternus VMAX box that they had in the store or that they at least had it out on display. So I believe that was the only one because they have all their stuff there on the racks. And then when that gets low, they have the stuff up top. And I believe that's the only box they had. We have the Reverse Hollow Passimian. And then we have a Mimikyu, non-holographic rare. I actually do like Mimikyu, you guys. So, the box pools were great because they were both gold cards. But out of the, what, one, two, three, four, five, six packs that we got, we had four green packs or green codes and two white codes. So... Again, let me know what you all pulled from these codes, if you don't mind. At least whoever got the white packs. Let me know if you got the same golds or if you got just like a V or a V Max card. So now I'm going to open the two Rebel Clash. Um, the GameStop here that I go to, they actually get these booster packs like this. Like... Since Rebel Clash has came out, they had, I think I picked up like 12 today in my hand and just picked these two out of those 12 that they had. But they've been getting single packs like this, not the ones that come in a little cardboard that you have to take out and then get the packs, but they've been coming just like this. And I asked them why and they were like, I have no idea. So I don't know why either, but hopefully we get some good luck. Honestly, because again, like I said, I need to build my Rebel Clash. And when I looked at how many Rebel Clash cards I had just all together, I was like, what are you doing, Nisha? What are you really doing? So we have a Vulpix, a Reverse Hollow Electabuzz, and we have a Holographic Dragapult, which I don't have. So, of course, that will go in the sleeve when I get sleeves. And honestly, you guys, if I don't sleeve these tonight, they legit sit here. Like, I will not touch anything that's over here on this mat for, like, a day or two until I decide that I'm going to go and actually um, put them in order with the rest of the cards. Not even going to lie. They will sit here until I move them. And the other cards that I did already have... From the last video, they're just all in a pile. I haven't even put them together where they go. I know. Hashtag lazy. I know. <laughs> I have an Applin, a Hatiana, um, a Aracuda. Is that how you say that? It's a cute fish. It's smiling. So that's cool. 
have a Galarian Meow Reverse Hollow Nine Tails, which is a rare and it's beautiful, by the way. Just look at that. Look at the moon back there. This is a very pretty card. And then we have, ooh, 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 what is it, what is it, what is it? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my heaven right now. We have, we have the Full Art Rainbow Rare trainer card. I'm not sure how you say her name. Is it Olina? Is that how you're supposed to say it? But she's gorgeous. I, honestly, at this point, I don't care how you say it. I really don't. This is a gorgeous card. Oh my gosh. This is a great, great opening as well. Um, we got two gold cards out of our box of six. And those were our only two white packs. And then on top of that, we get the hollow card and a full art rainbow out of just the two single packs that I picked. I need to go back and get the rest of those. I feel like because this right here, these four really just saved my opening, but I am so excited. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you are already not subscribed. Please do like this video. It helps push out my videos to other people um, that also watch Pokemon openings and that will help me out as well. And if you could please comment down below anything that you liked in this video. Tell me how your Eternus VMAX box came out. If you got any pulls in there. If you didn't get any pulls because I know that's happened a lot. It has happened to me and those videos are on this channel. So um, also you can share this video if you would like to anyone that would watch it. Anybody that's interested in Pokemon cards. Anybody that's thinking about getting back into it. It's a great hobby. But it's also pricey. Just remember that. Um, so again, thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.